A very handy and uh, useful function in Excel is the substitute function. It has got many applications, so let's learn a bit about it. Let's first of all talk about the syntax of this particular function. So the syntax of this function goes like equal to substitute the text, the old text, new text and the nth appearance. And let's talk about the parameters. One is the text. Text could be anything from an actual text or you can just refer it to a particular cell. Old text is that part of the text that you want to remove and new text is the new text or new character or characters that you want to replace it with. Nth appearance is actually an optional parameter. If you don't use the nth appearance parameter over here, it will replace all of the old text with the new text or else if you mention the nth appearance, it will only change the nth appearance of the old text with the new text. In order to understand the practical applications of this particular function, let's look at a few examples. Let's look at this first example where we are supposed to substitute everything. Now in this particular example, I've just taken a phone number and as you see that there are hyphens in between the numbers. It normally happens that the phone number is represented like this. But when you have to submit this phone number as an actual number, then you need to replace all of these hyphens. In order to do that, we will just use the substitute function. So the function goes like equal to substitute the text which is this number, the old text which would be a hyphen, comma, new text. Now the new text would be two double quotes because you just want to delete it entirely and two double quotes would be added. We are not putting in an instance number because here we want all the hyphens to be removed. So we'll just ignore this particular argument, bracket close and enter. Here you get your phone number without the hyphens. Now let's say you've got a spreadsheet which has got thousands of such phone numbers. It will be very easy to get the phone numbers without these hyphens with a single function. Now let's say as a second example, you just need to remove the hyphen in the second place in the phone number and leave the first one as is. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use equal to substitute First, we'll select the text, which is the phone number, comma, old text would be hyphen, comma, the new text would be two double quotes, and then comma, since we want to remove the second instance number, we'll put two, bracket close, and enter. Here you can see that the second hyphen has been removed. Now in the same function, let's say instead of the second one, I want to remove the first one, I'll just replace this number two with number one. So what will happen now is that the first hyphen will be removed whereas the second hyphen will be retained. Let's see. Here you go. A very good use of the substitute function would be to remove line breaks within a cell. Now let's say we got this particular example wherein we have line breaks and we have three different words written in one particular cell. Apples, oranges and peaches. Now what we want to do is that you want to kind of remove the line breaks and instead of the line breaks you want to put comma in between these three words. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use the substitute function equal to substitute text which is this cell comma old text. The old text is the line break and the line break is represented by character 10. So we'll write down C H A R in parenthesis 10. Now what do you want to replace this line break with? You want to replace it with a comma. So it will be in parenthesis comma and then a space because you want to make sure that there's a space between the comma and the next word. Parent close, bracket close and enter. So here you go. You have all of these words in a single line with all the line breaks removed and they have comma in between them. Now let's say in this next example, I want to count the number of line breaks in this particular cell. I will of course use the substitute function, but first we need to understand how can we find out the number of line breaks. Logically, what you will need to do is that you will need to count the characters in this particular cell. Then you will need to substitute the line break and then count it again and then find out the difference between the two to give you the number of line breaks. So here's how I'll do it. First of all, I'll do a simple count of characters in this particular cell, which will be equal to len of this cell. Now what I'll do is that equal to substitute. The text is this one, comma, old text will be character 10. And then I'll just put two double quotes, 
bracket close. So what it has done is that it has just removed the line breaks. This entire function I'll put inside a len and it should give me the new character count without the line breaks. Now if I want to count the total number of line breaks it will be this minus this and then minus one. So it will be equal to this cell minus this cell and then minus one which is two. Normally when I'm writing a longer function I would just want to break it down into smaller ones and then club it together. So I'll do the same thing here as well like the last function that I need is in this particular cell so what I'll do is that it is it is this cell minus this cell minus one. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just copy this cells function and paste it over here and then I'm going to copy this cells function and paste it here and then I can remove these two cells completely. So this should give me the complete function that I need to count the line breaks in a cell. Now we can look at another example where we want to count the number of words in a cell. So logically what we need to do is that we need to look at the number of spaces between the words and then add one to it. See for instance this first sentence I have purposely added a few blank spaces before the first word and after the last word as well. So the number of words in this particular sentence can be calculated by calculating the number of spaces between the words and then adding one to it. So first of all we'll count the number of characters in this particular sentence. We'll use a trim function first equal to trim. Trim actually removes the leading and trailing spaces that are not needed. This is how it looks like and in front of this function we will put a len function. So the trim function will remove all the unnecessary spaces from the sentence and then the len function will count the exact number of characters that are there in the sentence. Alright, now in order to count the number of spaces in this particular sentence, you will first need to find out the number of characters without the spaces. For that we'll use the substitute function. So the function goes like equal to substitute, select the text, comma, the old text which is a space comma two double quotes parent close and enter. Now this entire thing you want to put inside a len function. This should give you the number of characters in this sentence without the spaces. Now in order to find the number of words you need to first subtract this number and this number and then add one to it. So it will be equal to this cell minus the second one and plus one. This should give you the number of words in this particular sentence. Like in the previous example let me just make it a single cell function. So I'll just copy this particular function paste it over here then do the same thing for the other one something like this. Now I can remove these functions and then if I copy this and paste it to the other cells as well you can see that I'll get the result. There you go. So you can see how useful the substitute function is with all the examples that I have provided to you. You can use them in various forms with a combination of various functions and see how brilliant results you can get. And yes, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time a new video is uploaded.